Welcome back everybody. This is the Illuminate. It's a Shark Tank product. It's a solar powered light that supposedly can be good for anything from camping, hiking to emergencies to decorations. But does it really work? Let's find out in today's video. Before I get started, let's flash back to the unboxing and see how that went. It's uh, smaller than I expected. It looks bigger in the photos. Uh, I paid $29.95 for this. It currently has a 4.7 star rating among over 7,500 reviews on Amazon. Charging cable, some instructions, which I'll read over. Uh, they say it comes in nine colors. It's ideal for indoor or outdoor lighting. Can be used for hiking, camping, emergencies, parties, or even the pool. You get three to 12 hours of light per charge. That depends on the color mode selected. It can be charged via USB or solar. They say it takes about 10 hours to charge when you're using the solar panel. Or if you plug it in, one to two hours. It's like the charging port is right there. IP67 waterproof and durable. This was featured on season six of Shark Tank and got a deal with Mark Cuban. Uh, most people on Amazon praise it for being a lightweight source of light while camping or during power outages. The few complaints I saw, some people said it was too small, some people said it takes too long to charge in the sun. Now I should point out that this review was supposed to take place entirely at a hotel back in California when I was there last week. My hotel room nearly didn't pan out so well, so I was kind of distracted away from that. So some of us filmed there and some back here in Las Vegas. That's the after, originally, that was on the ceiling and that's part of the leak right there so we had a leak it went onto the couch into the bucket and then that fell off and the heater's not working so they gave us those which tripped a circuit so we couldn't use them the first thing you have to do is blow it up like a balloon so do the strap and this is like every uh toy you play with in the pool when you're a kid There it is. Pretty simple. Let's try out the light modes and see how they look. First click of the button. This is red. It's supposed to last nine to 11 hours and it looks nice and bright. Second click is supposed to be orange, but it looks pretty yellowish to me, yellow green. This supposedly lasts five to seven hours. Third click is supposed to be yellow and that's supposed to last four to six hours. And that looks the same as the orange. Fourth click. Green looks very nice. It's supposed to last seven to nine hours. Click number five gives us blue, which is a nice deep blue. I like that. It's supposed to last 10 to 12 hours. Next up, this is supposed to be turquoise. It just kind of looks like a light blue to me. Uh, this is supposed to last five to seven hours. Now we have pink. This is, this is definitely purple. That's, that does not look pink to me at all. It looks purple. And that's supposed to last also five to seven hours. Uh, this is the multicolor mode. This is supposed to last five to seven hours and I think it's going to go through each one for about five seconds all the way through and then just rotate through them. The ninth click is just white. This only lasts three to five hours and it is definitely white. The last click would be off. Well, I've got this in my pocket, which is kind of nice. It can fit in there. Let's see how long it takes to go from this completely closed state to completely inflated and lit up. Start the clock right now. Open the strap. I'm gonna speed test here. Get it back up. All right, stop the clock. How long was that? Seemed pretty quick to me. Not particularly bright in here. Let's see how well this brightens the entire room up. I'm gonna put it on the white mode so it's the brightest of all the bunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That should be the white. Turn these lights off. It certainly provides enough a light for my immediate area. It doesn't really light up the entire room, but I can see where I'm going. It does provide some nice ambient light here. Let's do a quick room tour with just the Luminate as the light and see what happens. I'll hold it by the handle. So here's the bed area, typical hotel bed. I got the Luminate just off camera so it doesn't uh, focus on that, but let me see. I got a TV here. I got a little couch and a little desk area. Now here's the little kitchenette they have here. It's kind of nice, but let me turn the light back on for a second. That light's a little bit, a little bit janky. There's like something going on. It's dim and there's a big crack in it. All right, so what you got here? Here's the front door. It's certainly acceptable as an immediate light, although it's, it doesn't really replace a lamp. Let me put it around the room, see how it looks in a different color modes. This reminds me when I used to work in a dark room, a developing film, that was always fun. Now it's a decoration, I guess I'm a little bit torn on that. Number one, it does look good, but only one of them doesn't really serve much of a decoration. You need a few of them, 
Three of them would be almost 100 bucks. The Luminate packs down to four and three quarters by four and three quarters by one inch and it weighs five ounces. There's other models out there. This is the Packlight Spectra. Other models include dimming features. I think one unless you charge your phone. I believe the most expensive model is around 75 bucks. This was 30. It's also the most popular model, so which is why I chose this one. All right, I've got it fully charged here, as you can see from pressing the battery button. Full charge. That, that doesn't stay on very long. I guess they're trying to preserve battery power. But let's turn this on. I'm going to go all the way to white. All right, this is full white mode. I'm going to hit the start button. We're going to see if it does last as long as they say it does. They say three to five hours for white, so let's see if that's accurate or not. I'll come back in a couple hours and check on it. All right, we're at the nearly the five hour mark and it's it's quite dim let me turn the lights off you can see how dim it is see it's it's not very bright in fact it actually went off i turned it back on it came back on so it's 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 in the dying process right at the five hour mark so it did last toward the upper end of the three to five hours but it's not really functional at this point i would say five hours is really the upper end of the limit so i think they're right their numbers are accurate so i give them credit for that the Luminate includes a solar panel so you can charge it up in the sun. I wanted to see how much of a charge you get in one day. Now it's November here, so the sun's not real bright. So here's how that test went. Here we go. Sun is coming out. Bailey's awake, ready to play ball. We'll see what kind of juice we get after a full day in the sun. It's so low, it won't even, it won't even register. So it's that low. All right, we'll come back a little later, see how much juice we get after one full day in the sun. It'll be interesting. All right, the sun is set. Let's see what kind of charge we get here. It's showing two bars. I wonder how much time that will translate to. Let's uh, go inside and find out. All right, so if a full charge on the white light, we got five hours. Let's see how much the solar panel provided for us with two bars. So I'm gonna go nine clicks. And then we're hitting start. We'll see how long this lasts sitting in the sun all day long. All right, exactly the two hour mark, uh, it died, so a full day in the sun, and now it is November, so the sun isn't as bright as other parts of the year, but a full day in the sun here got me exactly two hours of light before it died. Now we know. For my final test, I just wanted to see how it works underwater, and here's what happened. All right, this is supposedly IP67 waterproof, which means it can go up to a meter of water for half an hour. I'll put it in for a few minutes and see how it does. Oh, it does float. That's good. It floats upside down because it's, it's a little bit hop, top heavy. Is it taking on water? It is not. It's actually difficult to get it underwater because it's, uh, it wants to float. No bubbles coming up, so it does seem waterproof to me. And it does float, but it's gonna float like this, which I guess is not a big deal. All right, good job. It worked. So in the end, I think the Luminate does what it's supposed to do. It has multiple modes, it's portable, and it's waterproof, but it's also kind of expensive at 30 bucks for this model. And my guess is this is probably gonna be better for something like camping or hiking or emergencies. Not as much for decorations at 30 bucks a piece. I think you can find decorative lights a little bit cheaper. But I do think that most people who buy this will probably like it. If you've used Illuminate, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.